Hello. Whilst not giving out various awards to talented individuals, BAFTA does things like this. Hangs out at the Last Year Festival, mixes with the great and the good, and just generally holds events where you get exclusive access to some of the biggest names in film, TV and video games. Coming up in this highlights package, Simon Mayo will be talking to Paul Greengrass about his career in film, and I'll be hosting a Q&A with the cast of The Inbetweeners, where I'll be asking them just all manner of things. But before all of that, when you soak up some of the atmosphere here at Latitude 2010. If I could take a film character to Latitude Festival, I think it would be Uma Thurman's character in Pulp. Jimmy Conway from Goodfellas. The Genie from Aladdin. Gandalf from Drone. Jack Sparrow. Maca Packer. What? <laughs> yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Greengrass. Are emotionally intense films emotionally intense to make? Yeah. Exhilarating, though, too. Because there's something about the collective power of filmmaking. It's that thing, if you, if you can find the right story to tell and tell it in its detail, the big, the big truths emerge. To be a director is I, is to be, to watch people do beautiful work. You know, that's the truth of it. You know, I think it was Vertov who said that was what filmmaking was, to, to put together carefully selected elements that when assembled in sequence yield the unknown deeper truth. It was very exciting to see Paul Greengrass and an opportunity to see him talk about all of his films, all of the work and uh, the influences on him. I learned a lot about how he's linked his films back through the ones that he's really enjoyed and had inspiration from. But it was great that they crammed in so much to the time that they had and some really good clips as well. So. want to learn the lines word for word. I like them. <laughs> they get annoyed with me so much when I sort of go, I say, they say, well, that's not the line. And I go, yeah, well, you know, it's the gist. <laughs> Walking around in Thorpe Park in just a pair of Speedos. At, at, that, when, at that point of yeah. our lives, we no, were just no four one boys walking we were. around Thorpe Park. Yeah. And the thing is, it's not like they shut off the park or anything. <laughs> All that really happened was that we closed the best ride for the day. Oh, yeah. Really so they were annoyed because without of that. Really telling anyone. And then I was walking around so, in Speedos. That's kind of what the show's about, really. It's not pretentious or clever or trying to be anything, uh, it's not, it's just trying to be funny and, uh, you know, hopefully we do that. I probably didn't expect something like this at Latitude, I wasn't expecting a BAFTA Q&A. Um, it was my first time at Latitude, so it was a complete surprise. Uh, it's, it's good to get them in a, like a, an intimate setting, isn't it? Yeah, and really good because we're such a young, we're a young audience as well. It's good to have them as an event. It's something that we're really interested in. Yeah, interesting to find out what happens behind the camera as well. And it's like, it was really funny. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. Yeah. If I could see one last film, I think it would have to be Sister Act 2. I'd go Pulp Fiction, I think. Shakespeare in Love. Avatar. Oh, it'd have to be Moulin Rouge. Amadeus. Dumb and Dumber. The Twilight. Memento. So that was a whistle-stop tour of just some of the things that BAFTA got up to here at Latitude 2010. You can catch the full Q&A sessions with Paul Greengrass and the Inbetweeners cast right here on the BAFTA site, as well as photos and more videos. I'm not in all of them, but you can't have everything. <laughs>